Howard comes to, looks about, doesn't say a word to any of his friends, and he pulls his uh, little kit out of his jacket, it's his laboratory equipment, and he just sits it on his lap, and he removes his scalpel, and he removes his hat, and he makes a small incision in the top of his own head, about three inches or so wide, parts it with his fingers, sets it back down. He pulls out a small handsaw uh, with a crank, like a drill. It's got a circular drill bit in it. And he puts it on the top of his skull and just begins to crank. Howard. And crank. Howard, Howard. Doing, what's he doing? And crank. Howard, and you of course sort of, it's not. You sort of smell that powder, that earthy powder of bone mixed with blood. What and then you just hear a and a tiny piece of his skull comes out, and he puts it inside of his surgery equipment, blinks his eye, squeezes his skin back together, it's bleeding pretty good, puts his hat back on, and says, oh, well, sometimes you just have to expand your mind. And then uh, he's gonna lose uh, some focus for inspect and analysis mm -hmm. and get his first ever point into sense, which is a mm. tune channel and reveal. Mm. <laughs> and he just gave himself his own hand pan in his skull. That's fucking cool. That's fucking rad. That was cool. <laughs> That's a scar. That is. That's a bit of a scar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're like, I'm not saying that. We're in a horror show, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs>